So we are on our way to pick up the U-Haul. It is go time. His family is coming to our house in like 45 minutes to help start packing up and there we go. So we're nearing the end of our Virginia journey. How do you feel mm. about that? You sad? Yeah, I'm sad. Yeah. Virginia's the best state there is. I think you're gonna like Jersey. Hawaii's pretty fun too, but we're not moving to Hawaii. Hawaii is <laughs> nice. I had moved to Hawaii in a heartbeat. Could you imagine that move? Be such a pain in the ass. You'd have to get a pod. We'd have to get a a U-Haul that can fly. You'd have to get <laughs> you'd have to get a pod that they put like a shipping container on a boat. Mm -hmm. It'd be such a pain in the butt. But I feel like a lot of the hard part's done. But I think I'm also underestimating the amount of like hard work that unpacking is gonna be. Like I feel like we we accomplished a big thing, like a big hurdle is done. Everything's packed in boxes. Next step is packing it into the U-Haul and then the unpacking. It's gonna suck. So getting the U-Haul now. And I'll see you guys when we get back. We got it. We got a 20 foot U Haul. <laughs> Seeing how big this bad boy is. <gasps> wow. That's more than enough room. You think? Guys, this U Haul is actually really nice. <laughs> I feel like it's all like new. Yes. Holy shit. <laughs> Parking brake. Parking brake. I've been driving in the right lane the whole time. This is nice. Nice little whip you got. Whoa. <laughs> okay. He picked up the U-Haul. I'm praying it is big enough. He's right here to my left. He didn't really give me much room to back out of this jam. Hopefully this is a big enough truck because it seems big enough, but you never know. We never know. Here we go. Ready? Here he comes. <laughs> I think he's nervous. Oh my gosh. It's a big truck. Just. Yeah, but maybe, let me have a medium or two. Hoping that you like boys like me. I 
know you feeling me from across the room. I got a feeling you could be my muse. I hear strange when I see you. You say green, but I see blue. Either way, your eyes the ones I'm looking to. When I'm hell first, falling from heaven, baby. Living on the prayer that you can't change. Hey guys, we just got it all loaded up. Matt is pulling away with a U-Haul. It's so weird, our little neighbor standing out there, but everything is out of here. It's still a mess. We're actually coming back next weekend to clean and empty everything up. It's like, it's a disaster, but I'll show the empty house. It's so weird. It's so sad to see it empty. But here's the upstairs. All empty. It's crazy. Feels a lot smaller. Still have like pillows. It's kind of messy, but we are leaving it like this for tonight. I am currently driving Matt's car, so not very good place to put the camera. Um, I'm going over to Matt's parents' house. Gonna we're dropping the U-Haul off there for the night to leave it there. Um, we just don't have space in front of the townhouse. And then we're gonna go get dinner. I, I think the boys want to grab like pizza, but I really wanna go out to eat. So maybe I'll talk Matt into going by ourselves. I don't really know. But. Whoa. We were able to load the U-Haul up in like an hour and a half. So really good timing. Now we're off to Matt's parents' house to drop the U-Haul off, I'll pick Matt up. I'll see you guys in a little bit. We are off to Chili's for dinner with um, Matt's siblings. They helped us load the truck obviously and they're coming up tomorrow to help us unload the truck so we're gonna treat them to din din and i was in the mood for chilies so i need to remember these right. glasses for the, for the drive. drive yeah um but it's already seven o'clock we're gonna do dinner come back and grab frankie and then head back to our house i guess we're gonna sleep on the floor tonight because obviously everything's out of the house already but there's some like last minute things we want to do in the morning like get all the food out of the freezer and put it in a cooler like that kind of stuff so I'm gonna stay there for the night and leave up bright and early I think we're gonna get up at like 6 and try to be on the road like by 7 the latest so I don't think we're gonna be sleeping all that well anyway because we'll be on the floor and just anxious and all that stuff so not that big of a deal but we're heading to dinner now just gonna enjoy the last night in Virginia. How do you feel? Last night here. Uh, fine. It only hits me when I'm going to sleep. I, I feel like I haven't hit me I'm yet at all. The biggest mistake of my life. You're yeah, right. You own a home, a beautiful little home. My home is in Virginia. Yeah. I feel like it hasn't really hit me yet. It was kind of hitting me when I went through the house at once you left with the U-Haul. But I walked through the house again. It was all empty. It's kind of sad. It hit me last night when we were laying on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> we had our mattress on the floor last night and it was not fun, but. And then I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep at all last night. And then we woke up because Sarah thought she saw oh, yeah. lights underneath of the bed. <laughs> I wake up a lot. a lot. I do this a lot where I wake up in the middle of the night and think I see either someone standing in the corner of the room or I see lights under the door and, and I know I turn all the lights know, off. Instead of just knowing that this happens sometimes and you I, just I think like, I do it like half awake. Yourself. Yeah, she I, like, wakes me up. I wake Matt up and I'm freaking out. I'm like, the lights are on outside, the lights are on <laughs> and like outside the door. Which they're usually they're not on. But I just freak out and I wake up and my heart's pounding and I wake Matt up. It's just like I see I see it in my sleep. And I I'm like awake, but I'm not really awake, so yeah. But I will see you guys at Chili's. Great. Since this one's on Matt, we're gonna get a bunch of We've been eating. We just got back to the house. This is so sad. Sad. It's really sad. I'm gonna just go lay on the couch and turn some TV on. Yeah. It's football, but it's getting real now. I wonder what, what Frank's thinking. Out? My AirPods are here. Thank God. Poor Frank. He's probably like, what is going on right now? Come back and my house is empty. Aw, it makes me so sad. Good morning, guys. It is 6.15 in the morning. 
and I'm a sleepy lady. I didn't sleep at all last night. Obviously, we were on the floor anyway, so wasn't anticipating getting much sleep, but holy crap, I feel horrid. I'm gonna pack the cooler of all the food from our freezer right now, because we still have quite a bit of food that we can eat, so we're just gonna transport it. It's only a three hour drive, so should last for us. And, Cool. We are on our way. I can't believe it's finally here. Matt is in the U-Haul behind me and Matt's brother's with him and then his other brother and other uh, sister. So we put more valuable things in the van which like were TVs and lamps and like pictures and stuff that we didn't want in the big U-Haul. Look at Frankie, how freaking stinking cute is he? So, all three of us are driving up and make sure I have my easy pass all good, yep. I just can't believe the day is here. Got my coffee and a McDonald's sandwich this morning and I feel like that was a bad idea because my stomach is not going to agree with that. And we have a three hour car ride ahead of us and I have a dog in the car so I have to go to a bathroom. Frankie's gonna have to stay in the car. So hopefully that doesn't happen to me but we do not know yet because my belly has issues, you know? Um, but my car is packed too. I have a bunch of pillows, stuff that we used last night in the house because we did stay at the house for one last night. I slept on an air mattress and Matt slept on the floor. Worst night's sleep ever. I was like literally staring at the ceiling fan all night long. Um, but at like one o'clock in the morning, there was a loud bang, um, like the loudest bang. Uh, it woke me, like, I mean, I wasn't asleep, but like I was like sprung out of bed and I freaked out, I, like flung over to Matt. I was like, get the hell up and check whatever that was because that was not okay. And he didn't even like hear it. He was like, it's fine. It was just Frankie in the bedroom. And I was like, that was not Frank. So go get your ass out there and see what that was. And our window fell in and like hit the blinds and it was a whole thing so that was a our last night in the townhouse our memories there but I actually got a little bit emotional last night when we were like laying on the floor pretty much and it was like our last night it was just kind of sad because we spent three we spent three years there and that's where we obviously the first place we lived together was we got married when we were living there we got engaged there a lot of things so it's definitely like just sad to move on like change is kind of sad to me but I know this is gonna be a better place for us our own home it's gonna be great for Frankie there's so many good things about this house and this next chapter is just kind of sad to close one chapter you know what I mean it's just different and it's gonna be weird for a little bit gonna have to adjust but it will be fine and but yeah, I honestly don't even know where Matt went because he went a different way around the neighborhood too because he didn't want to like hey turn the U-Haul and now I don't know where he went. So I guess we're all on our own for this drive. We've got three hours ahead of us. It is 7.06 a.m. right now. So should be not too bad of a drive. Not too many cars on the road hopefully in this, this early in the morning. Get there by like 10 unload and the boys and Matt's sister are actually leaving today to get back home so it's gonna be our first night in our house all by ourselves which is crazy to think and that is about it for right now so I will see you guys when we get to New Jersey I can't believe it I'm so excited I think I'm gonna call my dad right now let him know we're on our way and I'll see you guys soon <laughs> Medford. Welcome to Medford, New Jersey. Right in front of me. Medford is popping today. Let me just tell you. There is so much traffic in this tiny little town I live in. There's not even like a lot of people that live here of what's going on. But 
we have arrived. I'm gonna drop Frankie. Oh, I'm gonna drop Frank off at my parents' house. Sorry for the lighting. And uh, everyone else is like 20 minutes away still, so I must drive really fast because <laughs> I got here a lot before everyone else. So they will be arriving. Probably perfect timing for me to drop Frank off and get back to the new house before they get there. So I'm very excited. If you guys saw my last vlog. I honestly don't remember at this point when I talked about the whole Walmart uh, fiasco with my um, outdoor furniture not being delivered properly. I'm still, that's still going on. And I think we're gonna have to bring the chairs back and return them because if you're not aware, the chairs got delivered, but the table did not, but they can't just replace the table. They have to replace the whole set. So I have to return the chairs for them to replace the, <laughs> it's a whole thing. So. That's on my brain. Also, the gas company was supposed to come yesterday to turn off our gas and read the gas meter, and they never came. They just never showed up for their appointment, so I don't know what's gonna happen with that either because I had to be present um, because it's apparently in the house, the, ma the meter, so I have like literally no idea what's going on, but there's a lot of crapola. But I'm so happy to be back. My house is literally right there. I'm going right here to my parents' house, like it's, around the corner, quite literally around the corner from my parents' house. So, I'm gonna drop Frank off and I'll see you guys when I get to the new house. Trying to move on, I get caught sick when I drive by your place on one. You know what would be really upsetting to me is if you guys replace the carpet in there, put wood floor, and then make three nights. I've been drinking a little, I've been thinking too much about you. All the time and the love that you gave me, all I gave you was a nicotine addiction and an empty room. Couple life lessons at 22 After all this shit I put you through I don't blame ya I hate me too Okay, so we just got back from lunch We grabbed pizza And now it's time to unpack the boxes Angela is here helping with the kitchen It's gonna be so much Matt is currently putting our table back together Um, the front room here is a disaster Everything's just thrown and then just wait till you see upstairs. It's even worse if, if possible. Um, this room is gonna be the office. Just a bunch of crapola, guest room, <laughs> and then this. This is a literal disaster. And uh, Matt's family just left because they did a lot for us. So they're getting home and now we have all of this to take care of. So. So much crap. Hey guys, it is a lot later. Look at me, I literally look like a crazy person, but the house is getting together. Xfinity was here for like three hours, I think. Like an absurd amount of time, but he was really helpful, got everything done. And now we're going to pick Frank up for him to see his new house for the first time ever. I'm so excited. 
I can't believe how crazy I look. Angela and I went and got coffee. I mean, went and got ice cream. And um, that was nice because I needed a little treat. And now it is time to go get the pooch. I just, I honestly can't believe I look like this. But we got so much done. The bedrooms are pretty much put together already for pretty like much. what we have. We're gonna be buying new master bedroom furniture and moving all the master stuff right now into the guest room. So we, need to do something we have some about configuring to do. The television in the bedroom. Yeah, we're gonna have to mount the TV. Your well, door's open. For now. There's a lot to still do. Tomorrow is gonna be a big day of like getting um, our like patio set put together, the grill put together. Matt might do some of it tonight. Um, and then we're gonna have to go to like Home Depot and Walmart tomorrow, grocery shop, and do like just like organizational things, pick up a bunch of random stuff that we're gonna need at the new house. So that is what's going on. I'm so excited to get Frankie. I haven't seen him all day. And we're going to see his new house. I'm yeah. pumped. I'm so pumped. Ugh, does it feel weird yet? Have it, has it hit you? Sink in. Um, I feel like I'm going to live here, but I don't feel as excited anymore. What's that mean? Because <laughs> before it was like, oh, exciting and stuff. And now I feel like we moved all our stuff in and it feels like home already. And I'm like... Oh, I'm tired. I want to go take a nap. Yeah. Well, it's good. It feels like home. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh. Let's see where he goes. Okay, I'm hook him. I'm going to go at this door, though. <laughs> Frankie, what is this? What? <laughs> is this your new house, Frank? All your toys are in here. <laughs> what is this, Frank? Frankie, what is this? Turn the lights on. It's open. Frank! <laughs> Bentley, where are you? <laughs> where are you, Ben? <laughs> okay, so here's the current state of the house. Kitchen is pretty put together. Have our little silverware drawer. Our plates more bowls and stuff this is a fun little cabinet i love that um oh well, frankie i guess it doesn't matter that's not that organized but then we have tupperware situations and then here's all like fancier glasses wine glasses that kind of stuff and then we have all of my mugs and drinks so here is our little living room. It's really cute. Fireplace, TV's gonna be over there. Gonna obviously need more furniture. And then upstairs, we're getting pretty close to. Put me on my phone right now because I was too lazy to go get my camera. But um, bedrooms aren't quite done yet. I'm still like unpacking clothes. But the bed's all made. This bed is all made and looks great. Closet is already kind of full, so I'm a little bit worried about closet space. But here's the closet. We're gonna shut the windows, and that is about it. Frankie's getting nervous now because there's it's lightning and thundering, which is really bad for the first night. I want him to like feel comfy and 
I'm nervous that it's gonna like <laughs> make him upset, but this is a little, little office room and that is about it. So I think I'm actually gonna end the vlog here and I'll pick up another vlog tomorrow. So subscribe, stick around. I'm sorry I look crazy, but I'll see you guys tomorrow, like getting more of our lives in order or something.